Hi, Mr. Jethro here, here to review Strange New World Season 2, Episode 9, Subspace Rhapsody. There will be spoilers ahead, so you have been warned. So, the musical episode. We uh, we finally get to see it, we've seen some of the trailers, uh, seen a bit of hype for it. And I'll be honest, going into it, I was a bit... I mean, how how's this going to work? This, this is a bit weird, isn't it? But then again, Strange New World has gotten weird before like star trek as a whole has gotten weird and this episode is essentially like the the star trek staple of the enterprise goes to this weird space thing it makes the characters do something strange and it basically gives them a problem to try and fix but this episode went where no other episode of star trek has gone before and that is the musical genre i know other uh, like series have done it as well i know buffy has uh, i've not actually seen that episode so i can't really comment on it but it's using the sort of like genre of musicals to uh, to show something strange going on and it uses that sort of inhibition to um i guess sort of uh, help to communicate uh, like personal drama and uh, to to expedite like personal um like connections interpersonal stuff sort of like how like in the original series uh, i think the episode is called the naked now how having the virus sort of brings people back to like their the base of selves helps the genre and helps uh, the audience know who they are so uh, even though this is like a, a new thing it's also kind of like an, an old thing as well it's using some of the some of the new and some of the old so i really like that and out of everyone like and everyone has has a chance to sing, and uh it's like oh okay this this is uh, this is kind of a vibe this is this is uh quite interesting and you know re really like this um re really really like that uh, that vibe and how you know it just it just flows which was what i'm what i was worried about mainly and uh i mean then also i have to give credit i, I gotta give credit to everyone and uh i know everyone everyone sort of sounds all right you do hear some sort of um oh, what's it called um, also tune, yeah. Do hear a bit of that with some of them, but others like I know some of the uh, some of the actors are actual singers as well, so that's uh, good to see them showing off their chops with that. Got to give credit to Ethan Peck of Spock here. There's this one scene where you know a chapel singer about how she feels, and obviously it, it hurts him. Like he's it, all right. He's not so much emotionless, but his emotions are very muted. And you see him, like, even though he's sort of, like, very, like, muted spark, very muted emotions, you can see that he's hurt. He's emotionally hurt. And the thing is, like, he, for what he actually has done, like, Ethan Peck, what he's done isn't that much, but it doesn't need to be. It, it's really, really effective. Less is more in, in that in that way, but it just, oh. You know, got, got a credit in, in, in this scene. This is quite good i do admit there's more of a criticism that i have with the genre but you know, with musicals sometimes i'm sort of like okay i get the point of this scene i'm just sort of like waiting for it to time out after like a couple of minutes of the song so just trying to like okay i see your point i i hear what you're saying but can we just like get get to get to it so sometimes i feel songs drag on a bit long but then again i'm not a fan of musicals as a whole so that's more for like I say, it's not criticism of the episode. Like the episode really, uh, really thrives in that, uh, in that respect. Although there is one scene near the end, I gotta, I gotta be a bit of a Debbie down here. I, I wasn't a fan of the Klingons dancing at the end of it. It just seemed like a jump, jump the shark moment. It just, like just seeing them do that sort of uh, dance routine, like. Uh, Okay, I was expecting Klingon opera. I think everyone uh, was. Um, that's the stereotype. Okay, I'm stereotyping Klingons. Like, uh, shoot me down and all that. But I didn't. I didn't think it really fit. Now, if this were a lower decks episode, that would fit absolutely perfectly. But it's strange new worlds, and even though there is some silliness, there's also some like sensibleness to it. Like in the previous episode, we see like the. The horrors that um, that the the war of the Klingons were, 
and then the next one we see them dancing around in a very weird and uncharacteristic way like it just sort of neuters them a bit it, okay I'm, I'm being a bit you know um a bit picky here and i know there were some behind the scenes sort of discussions of whether to have the scene in or not uh, personally i don't think it should have been there uh, it would have been a fun like little deleted scene but i that's that's got to be my my moment there it's just like mm, I'm, I'm sort of taking out the episode that this isn't like uh, criticism against the series as a whole, but it's more like this particular episode. You were doing your your fun study thing here. That was a bit too much. Okay, but as a whole, I think the episode was good. I, I liked it, but there were a few things I would have um, preferred it to do less. But yeah, nah. Overall, I think it was all right. Credit to the uh, to the cast for singing and that, especially those that you know were probably not so used to singing. I, I but again, it it just it was a vibe. It was a it was a fun little one-off thing, but probably not something to do too much more in the future. Unless lower decks do it, then I think they can lean more into the to the silliness. But yeah. Well, that's what I think of the episode. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to tune in next week for the finale of Season 2 of Strange New Worlds. See you later.